Sure, so flag reflow starts from the moment you wake up the device. You can see the lock screen, there's notifications, even my next event. And if you look at how I can touch the screen and control every area of it, you can see how it just flows as I wish to lift it up. <laughs> Now, this simple gesture that Vivek is showing us, that allows a lot of very sensitive controls in many other applications on that device. It looks simple, but it is a fantastic control mechanism. Um, okay, so now we're awake with BlackBerry 10, and now, you know, BlackBerry 10 users want to take action. So how do they do this, Vivek? So action is really important, and that's why we invented the gesture called BlackBerry Peak. And you can peak from any application. So if you see my calendar application, I'm able to pull it up, and there's all my notifications. It allows me to minimize the application, not close it, and continue to get back to what I was doing in one single motion. But not only that, we've made sure that Peak is available everywhere. So it doesn't matter if I'm on the second app pane or right at the end. You can always Peak. So, Actually, Vivek has one thumb in his pocket. He's doing this with one hand, with one thumb only, actually. Think about it. You're running through an airport, right? You need to take action. It's that simple to get to this BlackBerry hub where everything comes together that matters to you, right? Really, really exciting. So, um, if we think about how to use this in the BlackBerry flow in the BlackBerry hub, how do you deal with uh, you know, integrated messaging, calendar performance? Show us how it works, Vivek. Sure, so getting from peak to the hub is really easy. I continue to pull up anywhere on the screen. And if I move across to the right, you can see the BlackBerry hub underneath. Always accessible in this single gesture. So, please understand that wherever you are on this device, Vivek, right? Or whatever you do, Absolutely. right? It is this one single swipe gesture that gets you to the BlackBerry Hub, that gets you into action from wherever you are, correct? Absolutely. And as I get into the Hub, you can see everything's integrated. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, my email, BBM, everything is inside this entire Hub. And the way it works is you decide what gets in your Hub, right? It's not being exactly. imposed on you, it is your decision of how you create and how you build that Hub. Right? Absolutely, and with BlackBerry Flow, it just makes it so easy, as you can see. Look at that. Moving across between different accounts. It is amazing, I love it. <laughs> and again, watching Vivek and what he's doing, please, Recall that he has not called any application yet, right? He does everything that he's doing within this hub and with this spectacular BlackBerry Flow user program. Exactly, but it doesn't stop there. We looked at the BlackBerry Hub and we wanted to understand how can we make every single notification really important. So events are just as important as messages. So now I can peek in the hub to my events. And then I can actually click on an event you can see that information. I get details, people at the meeting, and the beauty is I've never left like we have. This is it. Amazing. You, have, you even haven't seen an application grid yet, right? So with this one single gesture, you're in. You're in, and you're always in. And this hub is actually not a feature. It always runs on top of the platform. Exactly. It's intrinsic in the architecture. Right. So what else can we do? So let me show you a little bit about the BlackBerry calendar. We've not only integrated Flow inside this, but you can see that there's multiple views, whether it's agenda, people, or schedule. You can see how I can kind of move through day by day. I can even switch to people view. I get a list of all the different people I'm going to be meeting that day. And then I can also move to week or month, where the big, bigger the date, the busier I am. And you can see I'm uh, pretty busy this week. Yeah, I hope so. But not only that, I can peek down <laughs> and I can move across between six months ahead as well, which I'm probably busy as well at that time. <laughs> so as you can see, the minute I go into an agenda and I go to a meeting, we wanted to make sure that information is there. So again, straight from people, I can select an individual, and there you go. You can see all the integrated information, the connections we share on LinkedIn, the, the web page, or the Twitter, or the Facebook feed, 
or even the company information of this individual. We actually pull all of this information down so that you actually have everything you need to hand. And even an activity timeline, so whether it be LinkedIn connectivity or the last time you went for dinner, you've got that information to hand. So think about it, right? You're running for a meeting. Think practically, running for a meeting, and we all try to prepare for meetings, right? Sometimes we just won't have the time because, you know, we're back to back. There's someone in a cab heading to a meeting. What would you do in order to get all that information around your meeting? You would have to go into context, you would have to go into browser, you would have to search the company, you would have to search on your social channel. Exactly. Right? You would be in and out, in and out, and really just crisscrossing everything. Here, it's one fingertip, and I get updates about that person at the company the person's working for. One hit for the thumb, one-handed, can still carry my bags and rush to an airport, right? But that's not all. I can actually look at all activities that I had with this person in the past and that I will have in the future as well. Blackberry, Hub, and Flow. That is the new spectacular user experience. No more application grid and no more in and out. No more brain occupied with, damn it, which application am I using right now? Correct? You don't Absolutely. Have to think about it anymore. Absolutely. It's magic. So why don't we show a little more? So, um, let's talk a little bit about BlackBerry, M, uh, Black, Blackberry Messenger, BBM. Um, great feature. Um, huge uptake. Great social network that we're using, right? Um, and huge responses to it in Asia Pack. Uh, people actually use their BBM, use their PIN to identify themselves as an individual. So, Let's look at BBM in BlackBerry 10 for a second. Sure, and I believe BBM is now actually in the English dictionary, which is incredible. So, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> so let me take you through BBM on BlackBerry 10. You can see how we've really brought the interface to flow and make sure that everything looks beautiful, whether it's a chat or even your contacts. You can see how everything looks so visually beautiful and stunning. I can move through all my different contacts and even my chats. The minute I go into a chat, you can see the keyboard is ready to go. I can start typing straight away. Let's see. Uh, I'm always uh, running late. Um, yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, um, I'll be there at 11. There you go. And what's great about this is we've also integrated emoticons into the keyboard. So I type on the uh, section there, and you can see how the emoticons come into place. I can pick one, send the message, click straight back to the keyboard. It's that easy. One thumb. One thumb. Right? Easy, easy flow, right? Natural, intuitive, right? So, you've seen some of the BlackBerry keyboard. We've talked about next word prediction. We've talked about contextual awareness. And you saw me flicking the words up to the screen. But how about we show some more? So, one of the things we noticed about BlackBerry users is there's around 30% today of BlackBerry users out there who type in more than one language. I'm one of them. <laughs> German and English. And, and some French. <laughs> so, one of the things we wanted to look at is how we made it really easy to type between different languages. So now on BlackBerry 10, you can see I start to type Spanish. I can switch to English. And I'll even throw in some French. And that's probably the best I can do in French. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I just never get it. <laughs> and you can see how the next word predictions are tailored for every single language, right? Without any incorrections, everything's there. I mean, I understand what you just saw. This is multilingual text prediction, phraseology. I can write German and English words in one sentence and the device will understand what I'm doing. It will not force me into one other language. It will also not force me to toggle between languages. It knows who I am. It actually knows which languages I'm working in. And it understands my personal text and style and my grammar even. Exactly. Which I'm still working on. <laughs> one of the things you may have noticed as I opened up BBM actually is something we call active frames. So now, without even having to go into the application, you're always kept up to date. You can see here, a friend of mine has just changed their display picture just two minutes ago. And it continues to keep you updated in so many different BlackBerry 10 applications. Yep, I think we could go on for hours. There's so much more to show. 
Um, but I think we, we got to stop this one here because I also want to talk a little bit about enterprise and bring your own device to work. Um, that is a trend that is out there and that has manifested itself. So that's why we innovated on BlackBerry Balance. So what BlackBerry Balance is doing, it actually allows you to have really two separate identities on one device. And those identities are separated down to the OS level because we have this multi-threaded OS